Guys, welcome to the show. Please like and subscribe. And if you can, hook me up on the Patreon. Uh, it's been a minute. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. Uh, 2020 is going to be a big year. There's a lot of big stuff coming up. I'll tell you all about it. Uh, welcome to Neil Reviews It Classics. Neil Reviews It. What is it? Hey folks, I am amped up. Welcome to 2020. Neil reviews it classics. Today's episode, Zombie Land. Please remember to hit like and subscribe, and nothing else matters. Zombie Land, uh, 2009, maybe. Jesse Eisenberg or whatever, however you pronounce that, uh, from uh, Social Network, and not being Michael Cera, he is like the lead. Him, he meets up with, oh, uh, I'll do that after, how do I do this? I forget, dude, it's been like two months since I recorded an episode. So, okay, Jesse Eisenberg, we got that. Uh, Woody Harrelson's in it, from Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Cheers. We got Bill Murray from Ghostbusters, uh, from the movie Quick Change and Meatballs, previous review, and, and Groundhog's Day, and Lost in Translation, and Emma Stone from Superbad, and Mean Girls? And the other girl is uh, Little Miss Sunshine. Starring J.K. Simmons. That's not right. So it's, uh, I guess it's like modern times. And zombies take over America. That's all. In this, the zombies aren't like Walking Dead zombies. Um... And they're not, they're fast, like World War Z zombies, but they're not, uh, not as fast as World War Z zombies, but still fast. They can climb, they figured out certain things, I don't know, I don't know if they can open doors, but they definitely can climb. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty, pretty intense zombie stuff. Jesse Eisenberg, these four people are some of the last people on Earth. And they're just trying to make it, you know, making your way in the world today. It takes everything you got, you know. He has rules that he set up for himself to keep himself safe out there in the world. Uh, you know, do cardio, limber up, always wear your seatbelt, uh, always check the back seat. Uh, oh, uh, the big one is uh, the double tap. Like always, like if you kill him, double kill him. Also, that's like a weird uh, like lore rule. They die, uh, they seemingly die from like normal human death stuff. Like if you break their leg, they're fine. They're just going to walk with missing a leg. But like if you cut them in half, it seems like they died. Definitely if you like bash their face in but they weren't like it didn't feel like it was all headshots I felt like they would just Shoot randomly and it would you know be enough To get you know To get them to get them deaded I don't have a ton to say about it the sequel just came out I didn't go and then I watched this one I'm still not gonna go. I mean, it was fun. It was good. I'm not. I. I ain't, I'm not hating on it. It just uh, didn't uh, kick me in the butt. What do we want to give this? Uh, 
I'll give it a ceramic dragon for fun. And, uh... Skull bobblehead for story? I mean... It's fine. Bill Murray was funny. I, <sighs> nothing really did it for me. It was offensive to fat people. I would say it was pretty offensive to fat people. This is very disrespectful. Like, yeah, of course we're the first ones. But you don't have to be like a jerk about it. Fatties and all sorts of negative terms. That's all I got for you, man. It was okay. It was fine. And nothing to write home about. Guys, like and subscribe to the channel. Watch some other reviews, because this one this is boring. There's nothing going on in this movie. I didn't, uh... It's fine. It's a fine movie. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. You know? You don't have to do anything you don't want. It's fine. Guys, hit like, subscribe, see me on tour. Thank you.